Hi guys and girls, today I'm gonna show you how you can replace this dummy fingerprint sensor on a HP ProBook 440G10. This also applies to older HP ProBook models because the ProBook line of business laptops, some of them at least, they have a dummy fingerprint sensor in order to reduce the cost. So now I'm gonna replace the sensor with a sensor that I bought from, come on, focus camera will you focus please with the sensor that i bought from aliexpress it wasn't that expensive and also i'm gonna upgrade the ram in the hp pro book you can upgrade ram because you have two dims also the wi-fi and bluetooth card can be upgraded or swapped dim.2 ssd and also here i guess you can add the second ssd or uh, a sim expansion card if you know better Leave a comment below. Now let's cut to the chase. First things first, you need to remove these screws in order to get the battery out. And also I disconnected the battery because it's safer this way. Now we're gonna remove this holder in order to install the fingerprint sensor. Now the holder is out, the metallic holder, and this is the dummy fingerprint sensor. The next step is to route the cable from the fingerprint to this metal tray. I'm gonna show you in a bit how it's gonna look like. This is how it looks like. The fingerprint uh, ribbon cable slides into that small window and then we have to screw it and connect the cable. After test fitting the sensor, I've noticed, oh, what a nice hole. <laughs> I've noticed that um, the sensor has a little bit of wobble. Maybe because the tolerances are not so perfect with this Chinese sensor. So what I'm gonna do next is install a little bit of electrical tape on this uh, brown side. And hope that it will be enough um, to reduce the wobble and um, better fix the sensor in the, in the spot. I'm gonna do that now and retry to see what the result will be. After installing the electrical tape, the wobble, it's somewhat gone. It's still present because, as I said, the tolerances of the sensor, as you can see, are not quite there, but let's hope the sensor works because I haven't tested it. I plugged in the sensor and I did tiny bend of the cable in order to slot it in. Now I'm gonna upgrade the RAM and install the battery and fingers crossed! The RAM is installed. I've added an extra 16 gig stick. This is an 8 gig stick. It should work in dual channel even though I might see a slight performance loss because the sticks are not the same, but thanks to Intel Flex Mode, that shouldn't be a big issue. Those are my parrots. I just powered on the laptop. The RAM shows in the BIOS, but now I have to check the fingerprint sensor in Windows. Be right back. Also the RAM shows in Windows, 24 gigs, and it works in dual channel. Now let's check the fingerprint sensor. The device is recognized. I mean, it's seen by the operating system, but the drivers are not quite right. Now I'm trying to install some drivers and I will get you back in a few seconds. Let's hope. So at first the fingerprint sensor wasn't recognized. So I had to search the device ID on the internet in order to get the driver for Windows 11. This Chinese uh, fingerprint sensor had this device ID, which was a little bit tricky to find the driver, but I managed to find it. I will put it in the video description. Now with the driver installed, let's test it. It works. So that's about it. Now let's install the lead back. One tip that I have for you when installing the, the button cover, 
on uh, on the laptop start from the bottom like this the cover has some slots that it will slide into then flip it forwards clip it into place and then screw the screws and when you want to take it off the easiest way to do it is from here because if you try to do it from here you may break some clips so you don't want that so that's the clip guys 